kilo minimum at least so it's been a big ass for him to come up and uh, usually we see that the fighters want to lose the pounds but uh, Manja Capri's had to put them on he comes up against Vasily uh, Belus who's a very very tall uh, boxer as well and uh, he's about to be introduced Vasily Belus 1 meter 80 and you'll see when he comes out the 24 year old from Moldova that's uh, he is a big rangy boxer as I said very tall and uh, has been boxing at the, this middle weight for some time and uh, knows, uh, knows his way around the ring he's a tough competitor and uh, as I said with every all the boxers this evening they're in tip top shape absolutely wonderful physique on him when he comes into the, the ring tall tall man and uh, will not get Vincenzo Manja Capri and, uh, here he comes, Manja Capri. So, a uh, 23 year old, and uh, his first uh, year with the Thunder in the big time. And uh, eagerly awaited entrance into World Series of Boxing. Once again, World Series of Boxing brings you the best in the business. And this is the man. But, uh, like welterweight took the uh, the bronze medal at the Olympics. He took a, a bronze at the 2011 World Championships as well. Yes, as we see, 23, and uh, of course yet to fight in a World Series of Boxing. And, um, a much smaller man, one meter seventy. So it will be a real contest where the clash of styles, the clash of physique will stand out for us. And uh, one feels it won't be an easy baptism of fire for either boxer. And uh, Manja Capri, he's been making the rounds, the media rounds. He's another one of the, the uh, Italian media darlings and uh, really plays up to uh, to the cameras and a great speaker he can chat all evening he was on a show uh, the other evening and he just took it over completely and uh, won everyone over and uh, you get the full the full package really with the thunder boxers especially the the italian boxers they're uh, really enjoying their time fighting here in the world series of boxing uh, having said that, we do have 40 different countries represented by the 10 teams around the world. And that's, uh, that says really the, the global reach of, the, uh, of our competition and the series. <laughs> Last instructions from... Uh, Lars Borvel from Denmark. Well, we've had explosive starts in each of the bouts. What will we have this time? It's a, a measured start. And Capri just trying to stay away at the moment. But the longer reach there, if uh, we lose, he don't want to make that work. But uh, Manja Capri ready dancing back looking to come in against the southpaw most of the boxers this evening are the orthodox stance and, uh, and Capri there low guard he want to just be caught there and there's a uh, jab so he's trying to get inside trying to work that uh, left and right bit open 
And just trying to lead his opponent on. As you get up here into the middle, which you've got the, the strength of the, of the competitors along with the agility. So you've got the all round package. And certainly for Manja Capri, it's a big step up from a light welterweight up into the, the middleweight uh, bracket. He's getting close there, a couple of body blows, but the, the rangy Belus comes forward and he has got that uh, ability really to fire out a, a quick jab and then get away. Manja Capri will just have to lead him on more, just lead him with the head. Asking almost for uh, Belus to open up. And again, the home support raise their voices. And as I said before, another boxer from uh, Southern Italy down in Campan Campania and the Campania region. There's a hotbed of boxers. And they're proud to be there as well. And up here in the, the north of Italy, up in Milan. Okay. Brought the southern fire with them. And Giacopi taking a couple of shots there and then delivering himself. And Giacopi coming forward again. And Belus in the corner and delivering a opening up with a couple of combinations there and going downstairs as well. Just starting to find his range and uh, pretty even first round there. And uh, Damiani wanting the, the combinations, wanting the, the few more. Body blows as well, come in, come in downstairs. And then once you get inside, go upstairs looking for a few uppercuts as well. That's what he wants. But uh, certainly a very even first round. It could have gone either way. I just feel that maybe Manja Capri landed more of the scoring uh, punches. But uh, certainly Belusa delivered enough of his, of his own to make that a very, very close first round. As you can see there from our judges as well, not a lot in it. So the second round gets underway once again. It's uh, Manja Capri trying to get in close. Open up there. And he's followed his coach's instructions. He's going downstairs looking for those body blows. And quick movement. And he's drawn the head in. Then he comes in and he's in on the attack here. Balus has to come forward and open up. Does so. Murphy comes in, just uh, separates them, but they're straight back at each other. No holding back here. Capri again just evading a couple of uh, rights there from uh, Belus. It's a right of his own away. Again with the, the low gloves just looking to come through with the body blows and then unleash the uppercut. But, uh, Belus defending well, covering up. Caught on the ropes for a second there, and then comes forward himself, looking to deliver a few blows in return, but can't do so. Once again, Manja Capri just uh, avoids it, the long range effort. Just biding his time. 
uh, once again another real technical bout for us. He's not uh, opening up completely yet. And Jacapri started the stronger. The loose keeps coming forward, and Jacapri finds a good combination. The caught there though, he left himself open. The loose is able to tangle him. Manja Capri up and then just catch him with the right. Yeah, the second round again, very close. It's better for Manja Capri. Again goes for the body. Belus only knows one way, and that's forward. Keeps coming. Oh, just to keep the head up. There goes the second round. And uh, once again, very close. Fewer uh, punches thrown in that round, but you felt that Manja Capri did most of the damage and uh, would probably have taken uh, all three votes from the... Uh, from the judges, now you can see there the good combinations and almost getting the uppercut through the, the gloves. And uh, quick movement just to stay out of range there of uh, Belus. And he had him on the ropes, That's a, that was his earlier combination, which uh, really would have impressed the judges on the scoring stakes. And Belus, he didn't land that many, he had to, one or two little uh, right hooks that got through, but uh, no real damage. A bit of swelling under the eye there for uh, Manja Capri, but uh, right for the third round, and uh, you can see there again close. And the judge is giving it a draw, but uh, the third round, as we've seen, has been decisive in the other bouts. Will it be so again? Good right there from Manja Capri. Looking for the body. But, uh, Belus knew it was coming, covered up. Does move well for a big man. Keeps his stance high. But, uh, flailing there slightly, Manja Capri, the more stockier of the two. Come in from a lower elevation, and he's coming in here, and he's uh, winding himself upward. Nice combination with the right and the left again, with the left doing the damage. Once more, the left's in there. And he's uh, just picking uh, Belus off now. Winding up on the, the right coming through, a little bit of the showboating. Slight alley shuffle there as well. He's uh, full of confidence now. Manja Capri. <laughs> Belus just wanting to close things up a little bit and caught again at the top of the head. He's coming forward, but he's walking into the uh, the punches from uh, Manja Capri. It's a couple of rights in there. A little bit more aggressive, but just can't keep it going. He's tied up again. Manja Capri is uh, his turn just to take a little breather. Let's gather himself again in my final minute of this third round. Good left from uh, Manja Capri, and he got inside to deliver the right as well. Body shot. Once again comes through. Malusa able to tangle him up again. Certainly, so uh, Manja Capri has been the, the more aggressive of the two in this third round. Drawing uh, Belus on. Belus again out of range, his uh, shot's missing the target. He is uh, lightning quick, Manja Capri.
leads in again with a, that left. Just misses a target on this occasion. Comes round with a right. And there goes uh, the bell for the third round. Another positive round for the uh, Thunder Boxer. One feels. Just starting to maybe just edge ahead here, pull away. Uh, Annie looking for or his man to, to keep moving, not to get caught up in the in the clinches. Doesn't want his man to get carried away either. Not too much uh, showboating when he's doing is fine at the moment. The combinations coming inside with the, the body blows there, as we saw there, and then going upstairs and connecting well. But for Belus, he really, he's got to really try to get his jab going. He's uh, beginning to slip further behind here. And uh, Manja Capri holding the advantage now. He want to uh, really drive that home in the fourth round. And coming in with a good combination, so right, the left. And the right again, that has been the real weapon so far. It's found its way through the defense there of uh, Belus. Again, that right. And it's Belus. Belus. Opening up and uh, just open himself to uh, a couple of little punches in around the, the chin area, which will just uh, weaken him further. Manja Capri just uh, able to pick off his opponent. And see, giving away in the, the height advantage, but making up with it for it with the speed and. Uh, They've worked hard in getting him up to the, uh, the middle weight, uh, weight and they've built up the, the upper body, you can see. Very strong, and he's able to match uh, Belus in the clinches as well. And uh, I just feel at the moment, just boxing within himself. He knows he can keep his distance, he can uh, just let those uh, punches swing by him and step in catch his man as he does there with the right again with the right and the left the right over the top and Giacapri again opening up and uh, opportunity here it's his man in the corner and Belus just holding on there then the guard high keeping himself tucked in and make him a small enough target as possible. Still unable to really get the jabs going. And the Capri again, just biding his time, coming forward in the last 20 seconds. Again, he uh, seems to have done enough. And again, been impressive with the jabs, the right, doing the damage once more. And using his strength there to keep his man at distance as the uh, fourth round comes to an end. And Manja Capri is uh, one feels well in control now. Just an uh, opportunity to take in a couple of big deep breaths. And uh, Damiani's telling him, you've won this contest. Don't take any risks. Don't let it go to your head. Just uh, go out and do the professional job. Get the, uh, the victory on the board. Get us set. Uh, up and uh, running here in the first, uh, the first week, the important thing. And uh, 
Certainly it's going to take something special for uh, Belouche to come back into this contest. He needs something pretty amazing. A knockout really, I've got to say, got to stop his man. That's the only way one feels. And you can see there uh, from the, the judges' results that it's uh, Manja Capri who's well ahead. And uh, Belouche in his corner will be well aware of that and they will want his man to land something very special. Who's coming forward here, but uh, once again, easily evaded by Manja Capri. Who opens up, that's a good right, a good left again. And he's keeping it going, he doesn't want to get into the clinches. He wants to finish this off, Manja Capri. They're holding back as soon as they break, he's in there. Capri is uh, finding success with the jab. Lastly, Belus, a little bit laboured now. Not moving as quickly. He's keeping the centre of the, the ring, but he's having to give it up whenever Manja Capri comes forward. And that tells you uh, about the strength levels, about the endurance, the stamina. With, uh, both boxers and you feel that uh, Manja Capri still got it in him. But uh, Belus, his stamina beginning to go. Again, another very technical fight. Manja Capri still feel a boxing within himself. Waiting for the moment. You know, the fans, they want to see a bit of the showboating, but uh, he knows that uh, Coach Damiani will not abide that. Fifty seconds to go. Belus. It's going to have to be something out of the blue, really. He's going to have, uh, take this contest. Got to be a knockout. Time running. Out for him. And Manja Capri just keeping his distance, stepping in. Wonderful right again. That's a good once more, scoring well. And he knows he's so far on top of his opponent. And he's uh, maybe just uh, showing the crowd what to expect of his time here at Tanya Thunder. His first part, his debut. And it looks like it's going to be a winning one. Last 10 seconds. And uh, wants some more. He's been the more aggressive and uh, scoring well. And there goes the final bell. And uh, Manja Capri, well, he knows he's won it. I think uh, the crowd and his opponent know as well. And I don't think this will be on a split decision. I think we're going to see a lot more from Manja Capri, a lot more uh, of the, uh, the open boxing this evening. It was, it was very within himself. It's a lot more style as uh, the season develops. And uh, lastly, Belus, well, he's a tough competitor. There's no doubt about that. He battled away, he had to cover up a lot. That uh, third round. He couldn't find the range, he couldn't find the, the big shot that would have given him the, the knockout. And it's the only way one feels he could uh, take this, uh, this bout off Manja Capri. But we'll wait to see what the, the judges have decided in the end.
So the victory for Vincenzo Mangia Capri by a wide margin. As we expected, all three judges scoring it in his favour. And uh, one would have to say a pretty routine victory, but one that he'll take and one that he'll uh, enjoy just to get himself into w the World Series of Boxing. And uh, we're going to see a lot more of this man. He's uh, put uh, the Thunder 2-1 up against the Eagles.